<clears throat> all right i'll try to look on the computer and find ways to radius fenders and stuff uh i couldn't really find anything i mean people use a lot of measurements and make templates and use cardboard cutouts and everything else but this is the easiest way that i've I come up with to do it's like when you're doing lettering you can take and put a tab in something and a string with a marker on it and hold it straight and pull it and it makes a radius that's what i plan to do with this same got my piece of rod here Run straight in the center of the, of the rear end see right there it's leveled i even checked with one of these which it don't really matter that much then you just tie figure out measure from your body line down how far you want this is just dad playing that's not the marks measure how far down you want it where your tire will clear from and tie it right there and then hold it tight and go all the way around just let it spin on your rod and that'll give you a radius then you take a cutting wheel and you just slice it up or a jigsaw or whatever you want to use but i've never done this before this is my first time so it might work or it might not i think it'll work fine but that's the only way i can think to do it because whenever you're doing lettering and stuff you want to get a good radius that's how you come up with a radius like yeah it's an easy quick way to do it so i'm gonna try it here in a second it's raining of course but that's what i'm doing There's my radius marked and the tires and wheels that I'm running. It's gonna be steelies like that all the way, or rallies all the way around. And here's the other side. Same thing. It's a wet so it's hard to see the line, but it's there. Now I'm just gonna cut them. So from the inside so I can keep the camera from getting wet because it's raining got a cut I just got a cut from the inside yep you guess it it's raining we're doing a radius of wheel weld out here anyway. Come out here to get some stuff done. You ain't getting nothing done. The rain is screwed up everything. Oh well. One radius of wheel weld. There you go, folks. <laughs> it's good, don't it? Shall we go on or shall we stick the wheel on the back of it just to see it? Shall we go on or something? Oh, we gotta stick the wheel on. If we just had a slick with a steely in it. Oh, there it is. Hey, turn it, you gotta pump air, pump it up. I don't want to put it on. Oh, it'll slide right on now. No, pump it up, you gotta pump it up, get the feel, look. I know, I, before I couldn't put it on it's there. It's to become a gasser. It's like having a little baby, you don't see as much. Brought to you by <laughs> Diet Pepsi. He's taking a Diet Pepsi challenge. Can you race the wheel wells in the rain? Of course I can. Can you do two in one day? Can you get them both done? Yeah, I do them and then 
get the rotors drilled for five and four. What you say? What you say? I get them done and do the front rotors drill them to be five and four and three quarter. In the rain. Everything we do is in the rain. This is regular weather. <laughs> We're lucky to have a tent that holds up. <laughs> the, whole, the whole first video of me actually cutting them was out here in the forest. Yeah, that's real as it gets. Yeah, I just said on the tree. <laughs> it's normal. This ain't shit, folks. That ain't for sure. Why aren't you doing it? Yeah. If we're doing it in the rain. Don't give us no crap, but you can't get done. <laughs> now we're going to get this all cleaned up. We'll fix this up we here. We might clean it up. Put a little, we might clean it. We'll clean it up a little bit. See how that, see how that, when you cut that inside piece, how, how it drew in right there? That ain't, yeah. that ain't a bad gap at all right there now. Yeah, we'll have to show you his patent and radius and the mechanism he built. Sorry, did you, oh, you did? You showed yeah. it? Oh. I set the camera up over there. Oh, well, he showed it there. Two specs, 14 pounds. 14 pounds. Going on. All right, let's get back and look. <laughs> look at that perfection. <laughs> now that's the shit, boys. There you go. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I like it. Radius. Yeah. One, one radius. It's like officially radius. It's a radius. Look, it don't even look half bad either. Oh, it looks pretty good. Looks like it is. That's just a quick cut. Damn right. Oh yeah, look at the good, look at the good, look at the good, look at the good. And them's nine inch slicks. They yeah, them just nine. Half he just did the second side, passenger side radius. This is the side that was hit. Not bad. Same gap. Makes it easy, folks. This is what I wanted. I wanted black steelies on the front and black ones on the back. Anyway, what I was telling Justin, I said, we had a five, it's called a five on five truck bolt pattern. So what we done, we went and tried all these wheels, going to put a regular car wheel on it, but it won't clear the center because it's so damn big. So we went up there and dug through a pile of wheels. Got two of them right there that match. Colton's old tires, these are old 165, 80, 15s, which are narrow. Volkswagen tire. Right the wheel down here and mount it right here. Which we're going to do again with the other one, and you got to see this. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Got it aired up and put them on there, and there's a combo. It's a truck wheel with a narrow front tire, and it's a steel wheel. Which we're going to put rallies on it, truck rallies, which is like shit and they're too wide. But those are two sixes or five and a half or sixes. So, you know, it's on there. That's how, that's how they've done it back in the day. They go dig around for shit in a pile, bring it down here, start looking and finding shit and you find something that works. But that's exactly what I wanted. Don't I wanted steelies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here he's gone. Yeah, he flew off. He's gone. He won't come out again. We'll do it again, I guess. Yeah. But that right there, that's exactly what I've seen in my head. I want... You can, you can mount them out here, but you got to wrap a little bit. I want it to be. I've mounted, I've mounted tires in the kitchen trailer floor. I mounted a couple yeah, of tires. Yeah, whose tires are those? His Colton's. Colton, we put his rear tires on his well wheels right there in the kitchen floor of the trailer. <laughs> Just got to slam it. And see, your wheel's nice and centered, look. Yeah, it's. Don't that look good, y'all? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I want it to look at, at the black wheels on. super 60s. Like they would just go out and find whatever wheels they had and put them on. Yeah, find it up with this truck in the car. If we can get the leaf just like that right there. That looks like somebody's going to go. Yeah. I love it. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to show you how we dig and get another. <laughs> well, we done brought it down here. I don't have a core wrench, so this uh, plug tool will make me a core wrench here in just a minute. All right, now it's recording. Wheel mounting, skull file.
There you go. I told you that was cool. Dad knows all kinds of cool stuff like that. Save us from driving all the way down this one tire. They yeah, beat that back in there a little bit and get that thing to seal into the narrow tire. If you had a wide tire on it, man, easy. Just push it out and it'll pick up air. Take the core out of it. <laughs> I had to hit it with a hammer to get that top part didn't pop out, and I hit it with a hammer, I put more air in it, popped back out. I had enough to go pow, then I put it in again and went beat it out good. Yeah, it's been about 15 years playing with tires in the damn tire shop for sucks ass. <laughs> oh, they don't look so they cut. Yeah, I'll leave it out there. It's got bread throwing, showing through. Out right there? Yep, yeah, it'll be fine. Pump them up too much, that right there will bite you in the ass. You're itching the nut. There you go, tire mountain. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> Good time for a drag dog. Mm -hmm. What, you buy Sugardale or? Sugardale. 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 We just bust out our George Foreman grill. Thanks you to Rowena. For our picnic table. Grab some Sarah Lee, restaurant style bun. Only the best will do. Chili. And bake of the beans. How you gonna cook them on that? I'm gonna cook them with a damn propane torch. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. Quick heat by Ronco. That's how we do it. Wrong code. We'll set up out here now, get a little something deep, and we second wind. Yeah. And then, cut the fenders. Picnic. Yeah, this is a real picnic. This is what Honda's is good for tables. Mm hmm. 4th of July picnic right here. Says it's probably going to rain tomorrow and Saturday. Yeah, they're calling for rain at them car shows, so. Keep our freezer section back here. I spoke clear water. Oh, I got some stuff I can mark off the list. Yeah. He's making the list. Yeah. Ooh. I got some stuff I can mark off. Like front wheels, drilling the rotors, and raising the fenders. But look at that. It got rid of that big old messed up spot back here. Y'all that white stuff's on the fenders bond though. Somebody Hit it right in that side, and the worst part that was hit was right where that wheel well was that cut everybody that out. Yeah. But it was packed full of bundu. Looks much better jack that radius than it does jacked up that shit though. Yes. Looks Looks, it, it fits more 60s because right. instead of trying to find wheels instead of fit, they just cut it and completely eliminate the problem. And Justin built me that scoop for the truck a long time ago. So we had to scoop and it's all steel, so it seems to look better on there than that other one than it does. Yeah. See, that one looks, that one over there, a problem child's got one like it. I built that one a long time ago. I've had it on the 74 forever. But he's got one on his car and I want to completely, he can keep that style scoop. I'll stick with this. This looks more 60s. It's just built to pull air in. What'd you call it? The sledgehammer? That's what it was. <laughs> the hammer. Hammer. Yep, That's what hammer. dad called it. That is the hammer. We got a nice plug for it somewhere. It fits right in front of it. Nice fiberglass. The plug I made for it, it was a guy wrecked. What, oh shit. What model was that now? 63? 63 or 64? It was Mike White's. It was no, it Mike White's, wasn't it? That was the guy he's built. But anyway, Mike White built a car. This it's is a, a 63 because he got yeah. the front end for it. A long time ago. But anyway, so I went out there and the front end pieces was laying out there at Mike White's. So I got me a piece because I wanted me a Mike White sticker decal. So I got the front, the side of the fender off that car. It flipped, tore all the pieces, and it was this small car. Guy rolled it and tore it to shit. So I got it and cut out, and made me a, a damn scoop plug for that scoop out of fiberglass off of that front fender, and it says Mike White Racing on it. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Yeah, it's White Racing. Perfect. But it's a, it's a fiberglass fender off of a car that was raced back in the 70s. The dude rolled and he fixed it. So. 
That's some more damn history. I think it's I think it's back here. I think I moved it the other day. Well, where it is, we need to find it and stick it in there because it's that's legit parts. You stick it right in there, and we made it to fit, and it'll go right in there. This is pretty, and it says Mike White racing on it. And it come off. I can't believe it come off that mall car. That's exactly what it come off of. Because he had that front end, that was, all the pieces were sitting out there. The arrow scoop come off the same car. Hmm. The one that you arrow, fixed. It had, a, it had one of those big lead mints with huge arrow scoops on it, and it may say something it's flat. I told Mike White, I said, let me have that scoop. And he's like, what the fuck you going to do with that scoop? You know, Mike White, that's what he said. I said, I'm going to try to fix it. And he said, why don't you just fucking buy a new one and leave that shit alone? He said, you'll never get that thing fixed. Man, I got that thing fixed. It took a lot of work. I got that thing fixed looking good and sold. Yeah. It turned out nice. And then they crushed it, UPS did. Yeah, and UPS shipped it and busted it. <laughs> so, but it worked out. I did get it fixed, though. It was it was a pain in the ass to fix an arrow scoop that had been smashed flat, but I got it fixed. I was determined. Three cans of fiberglass later. He just throw that so much in the trash, man. He said, I can't believe you work on shit like that. He said, why do you spend time with that? I said, because that's all I got. He said, well, take it on. But stupid as hell, you can't fix it. So I didn't get it fixed. And that's how, that's how Mike White talks. If yeah, you ever yeah. met him, that's I, the way he is. I love him dead, but he'll tell you just like it is. He don't play. Which is why he's so cool. He told me that truck back on one day. He said, why did you put such a boat in such a piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike. That's all I got, that man. Drunk pile of water. Slow AF X down with cast aluminum center caps. And I don't know what them damn things off of, but they're big. If any of y'all know what them's off of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a picture of them up. I just like to know because I can't find nothing. They say AFX in the center and they're cast real thick aluminum. I've only seen one set on eBay. Don't know what they'll fit, don't know what they're for, but it, they're for a big old center wheel. If uh, you know what they're for and somebody needs them. I got two nice ones. We'll find them. So, show you. Yeah, I'll find them. I'll show. I'll post a picture of them. They're crazy looking things. But they were made for some kind of wheel or some kind of something. I don't know what, but they had a purpose. And nobody I see, nobody I can find seems to know. So maybe y'all do. Anybody? One y'all do. Oh, y'all guys check. Proper way to cook beanie wings. Bring them to a nice bowl. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay got nothing on this. Gordon ain't gonna shoot him, This ain't Hell's Kitchen, it's Skull's Kitchen. It's a Skull's Kitchen. Just hold them whatever toe you can. Cook it nicely. Hey, wait. Give me some fun. Give me some fun. Ball dragged on for now. Ah, uh, putting the grease right down on the yep. hunt, too. Perfect. Living off the land. <laughs> this ain't really roughing it, but don't let that touch that plastic. Huh? So don't let it touch that plastic bag. It right It'll be all right. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. You got a spark? No, I ain't got a spark. You gonna one have one to use a screwdriver? Yeah. I know he ain't got no spark in there. No, <laughs> oh, that's one I grabbed to use to get paint out with. Preparation. Moment of truth. Is it hot? Not bad, hot, not hot, not bad. <laughs> Look at all the fucking weenies up on top of the beanie. Still cold, ain't they? No, actually not. No. <laughs> I can stand and cook a little longer. Mm -hmm. Is the weenie cold or the beanie? Both. Yeah, 10 more minutes. <laughs> well, I made hot dog. Probably. Finally, the lower quarter is cut. See, you get in here. Yeah, you get in there and actually work on stuff. 
and this will be mounted just like on Suburban. Right down there, solid as one piece. Two. But that's the point. So you can get in there and actually work on hot rods <laughs> and tilt them up by yourself without them catching. Like if it caught on fire, couldn't tilt it up by yourself. Nope. I want to make sure you can get that damn thing up by yourself. Oh, it's summertime. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. We're hot riding, they're shooting. Yep. Putting all this together for a mock up. See about how the motor mounts. I'll drop it all down in there for a mock up. All right, got all this together transmission, barrel housing, mock oil up. pan, 27 block. This notice, is mock up. Notice the name Jimmy Juha. Portable bonding. <laughs> if you're ever in trouble in Georgia, yeah, if you can't keep your ass out of jail, Jimmy can. Yeah, <laughs> portable bonding. <laughs> Hey, you Jimmy, see everybody? Use it for mock-up for our gasser, baby. This is how Jimmy Juhon's Corvette, or one of them, one of them Corvette back in the day. Jimmy ran, and uh, he gave me this right here. We're gonna make a transmission out of it. We're using it for mock-up right now, and we're gonna set this dude in here and find out some hairs and shit like that. We're gonna use a cherry picker. Well, hold on a second. I'm here. All right, now it's recording. We'll just move it back. Get the training bell housing right down in there. We'll get on back and then we'll straddle that wheel. Check that jacket a little bit. You want me to get it in? Pick it up. Jack and jacket a little bit. We can do it with a chair picker, but this is how we've done it in my 57. That's how we're going to do this one. Get no more old school nets, that's how you get real as it gets. Just let the jack slide on back. Oh, it's hitting that steer rod. It'll have to be with the truck. A lot. Let's pick it up straight back. Sharp objects that get cut on, ain't they? That can't even paint on it short. It's on the steering arm. Huh? It's on the steering arm. Jack it back up a little bit. It jumped off the jack. Hold on. Yeah, that worked good. It jumped off the jack. Real as it gets. <laughs> It is on 57, it was just the block and bell housing. Yeah, we ain't done it with a tranny, but we're just made it a little twist. Now, wait a minute, what are you doing? 
Jack it all the way up and put that stand on the tail of it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the jack to do it and off. We're still recording. Oh, battery's flashing. We're about dead on battery. It's in there. It's in there and it hits my steer. I'm going to drop it down. We're talking about maybe having to put that steering so, on below instead of above. And have to do that. Of course, a Morosa oil pan, we got a different oil pan on the front. Might clear it. So. i got to pause this right quick. <laughs> he farted. All right, well, figured out the zoomies ain't going to work. Our weed burners ain't going to work. They hit steering. I do got a ton of rim set on it, some heads and the carburetors. Oil pan hits the steering rod, so we got to change that. So I got to find an oil pan, some fender wheel headers, a cross member, and or just take them off the truck back there and put them on there. I don't want to rob no more stuff off the truck. Damn headers he's got to run on fit, and he ain't got three hundred dollars for a damn set of. That's how much fender wheel headers are. Well, they're about six if you buy them new. <sighs> Most people that's got them want 175 or 200 per set. God. Oh, they're expensive. That's crazy. That's too much for this poor yeah, boy. Do something to swap meat in the morning. Somebody bring some of them things in the morning, dude. <laughs> for nothing. Be there bright and early, so. Need a nice set of fender wheels laying down to eggs in it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They ain't got to be nice, just be fender wheels. Yeah, they got to be nice, be rusty as hell. But there it is. That pan, Dirk's got a Monza pan, and another guy knows got a damn Rosso pan, so I don't know if I have to make a call to Jules. To Get a cam and a pan and rollers and rockers, I mean rockers and a lifters and whatever else, springs. You ever see him taking a breather like that? Yeah. Thanks, Gary Fox. Uh, yeah, thanks, Gary, but I ain't never seen no shit like that. Hmm? It's a poor man's uh, evac what, system, crankcase pressure. I don't know what they were thinking, but that looks That's to, to leave, relieve that crankcase pressure. It's out. Well, no, it's got little holes and it's got that well, I mean, plate like a like a that. baffle for a valve cover. That's what's in it. Yeah, somebody's homemade that for sure. That's what he's worried about, the header, so. Yeah. These little things, they make cool as shit, but they're a little short and a little small and then all the other heads we got some block hookers to go down which ain't period and ain't, they look like shit so <laughs> dad loves the fender wheel spider yeah, or they like come the out there right they've been on that damn truck forever so it's not no loss to me i got another set of truck headers we got about five sets of truck headers yeah it ain't no i say he takes them off they look better on this than they do the damn truck they've been on that truck forever i'd say put them on here they laid up my cousin for almost 25 years, and he gave them to me, and I've had them down 20 years. We might take one off and try it. I would. That side, that side over here is all you got to worry about. That side over there is what you got to worry about. It'll clear shit out of them. Them will zip right across top of that. And... i say that's a cheap cure right there. I like it. Thing looks so good. And the lift off front end works pretty good. That's about four minutes. It does need a little more bracing for lifting. It's all right. It ain't meant to come on off. It's just for major motor problems when you take it off. <laughs> installs. Yeah, install, mock up, sock up, and lock up. But I'm going to have to cut my hole. Cut that hole a little bit bigger. It needs a bigger hole. We're just sitting and looking. Getting closer though, one piece at a time. Looks like a damn gas from now though. Oh, it does. It looks pretty awesome. It looks like a calamity, Jane, do no. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a calamity. And it's a lady. <laughs> a bitch. Yeah. Ain't been no lady, it's gonna be a bitch. Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane. Don't forget it. Don't remember it. <laughs> don't forget it, don't remember it.
Hey, you're right. Hmm? He's right. He's right what? It's not about these 50. Look like a glove. It's hard to believe it, but something for 57, 56, 55 will fit 64 now. Something for 55, 56, or 57 will fit anything. Even a pickup for it. Gonna, yeah, even a 76 pickup for it. Look at that. He can still turn his wheel, everything will clear with his tires, hombo he's got. And he can even take my exhaust and stick on it for the street. Can't beat that. It's all about sacrifice, that's how you do it. Make it happen. Yeah, hopefully I'll find some more that's supposed to be right here. Now you know it'll fit. Huh? Yeah, I don't think they look much better than the fucking shit dogs hanging up under it. You cannot have a gas without no fender wheel headers. A little bit of paint, a little bit of shine. Yeah. Okay. They like me. I'm not gonna paint these. Shit, it doesn't work like a charm. If Shit, I run them, they'll be just like this. Look at that. Now y'all people know he should have made the right choice. Yeah. Yeah, we take everything off the truck. Well, the truck is a downer, man. The truck has served its time. No, all they do is put a starter on there fire right up. Yeah, well, I'm gonna put a starter headers on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there now, boys. There you go. That's a gasser. It, run cool. it, run cool. it has become Justin's car now. It's his personality wrapped up. Starting to look like Calamity Jane. Car's coming together. Looks like him now. Don't more iron. Yeah, more bit more iron parts. There you go. I might have to paint them and run them. So, I can't believe it. Uh, look at, huh? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I told you they'd work. See there, you ain't oh, got. Hold on, let me grab my down bar. You ain't got to make shit. That's what I was wanting to check. What down bar? My down bar for my frame. Well, oh, it'll clear like a champion. Why are you worried about it? Watch and see. Watch and see. Watch and see. They'll clear. He needs them on there, don't he? Oh yeah, that'll never work. Look at that, 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 look at that. We have found the system. We have found the setup. We have jumped. Huh? Shit, that's reels against right there, buddy. Yeah.